If you know anything about me, Brian Goulet, then you know that I am a big fan of the Pilot Custom 74. I've been using one for years. It's one of my favorite go-to daily carry pens. Part of the reason that I love this pen so much is because it has the very large Pilot Con 70 converter inside of it. It's a mammoth converter, and it only fits a couple of Pilot's pens. It fits their Custom 74. It fits the Pilot Metal Falcon. Um, it fits the Pilot Justice 95 and possibly a few others. I think those are the only ones in the US that it will fit, uh, just because the converter itself is so large. It's this interesting, like kind of button fill converter thing, and it's really kind of unique. And I have gotten a lot of questions before about how to actually fill a pen with this converter. So that's what I'm gonna cover here for you right now. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful pen. This is my beloved blue Pilot Custom 74. Uh, a lot of reasons I love this pen, but one of the reasons that I love it the most is because of this very cool converter that it has in here. This is the Pilot Con 70. Typically when you have a cartridge converter pen, you sacrifice on ink capacity. However, you do not have to sacrifice uh, on this one because it's got uh, the largest ink capacity of any cartridge converter that I know of in any pen. Uh, so the cool thing about this is not only that it has a big ink capacity, but it also fills in a really interesting way. And one little point of fact here is that the pen has this silver Con 70 on it. That's what actually comes on the pen. But if you buy a replacement, it comes with a black one. I don't really know why that is, but anyway, that's just how it is. So I've got the silver one because I'm still using my original converter, even after three years or whatever. Um, and it's, uh, but it, it kind of fills in an unconventional way. And a lot of people get kind of confused about that. So I'm gonna show you here how I fill with it. So I have my Custom 74 um, with its guts out here that I'm gonna use to fill it. And I have my bottle of nondescript blue liquid that I will use for demonstration purposes in my nondescript ink bottle. I bet you can't tell what brand that's from. Uh, and basically, the way that this Con 70 is going to function, there are several different components inside this converter that are kind of unique to it. If you push the button down, you'll see that there's this white piston seal, that that is going to seal up the back. And then there's this rod that comes all the way down with this little black piece of rubber in there. And what is happening when you're pressing this thing down is that black piece of rubber is going to stop up right in this gap right here, and it's going to um, block it off. So that part will be blocked. And as you're pushing the button down, this seal is going to push down and create pressure. So it's gonna hold that black part on to that opening in place, and you're gonna build up pressure inside here. And then when you let the button go, that black part's gonna come off. All that high pressure that you have in here is going to be released in a blaze of glory, and it's gonna create a negative pressure inside the converter, and then it will cause ink to rush up into the converter. If you have any vacuum filling pen, like a Twisby VAC 700 or a Pilot Custom 823, it's going to operate in a very similar principle. Now they have different mechanisms, but the whole idea behind creating pressure, releasing the pressure instantly to create a vacuum, that's how vacuum fill pens work. For all intents and purposes, this is a vacuum filling converter, okay? And I'm gonna show you how this thing is actually working. So it just presses right on the back here. And another little side note, if you have a pen that takes a Con 70, you can also put a Con 20 or a Con 50 in there. Little point of fact. So if you don't like the Con 70, you don't have to use it. But anyway, so I've got my blue liquid. One neat thing about the Custom 74 is that it actually fills from this filler hole. It doesn't have to be completely submerged, though it's really kind of hard to just kind of hold the thing in suspension and not immerse the whole thing, but whatever. Do whatever you want. So I like to kind of stick it down in there. And um, the way that this thing is going to work is you have to give it some force. Not necessarily in terms of how hard you press it, but how quickly you press it. Because if you take your sweet old time, you're gonna be pressing this thing down and the black rubber piece is not going to create a good seal here and it's not going to create a lot of pressure inside and you're just not going to get good results. So I will show you how to not get good results and you may have seen this for yourself with your own pen and this will be nothing new to you but I'm going to press it just so gently 
And this is the way that most people will go about filling it because they'll be careful. They might not be super confident about how they have to hold the pen. You really got to kind of have a firm grip on this thing. And, you know, I'm pushing it three times now, four times. I'm taking my sweet time. It's completely immersed in there, submerged, whatever. And so now I'm starting to get a little bit in there, but it's just really frustrating because it seems like this thing is broken, like it's not working. Why isn't this thing filling? It's driving me crazy. Oh my gosh, I need to email Brian because my life is about to end. Okay, so I was a little dramatic, but believe it or not, I've gotten emails like that before. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to actually fill this thing. And what you have to do is you have to, you have to really want it, okay? You have to want to fill this converter and you gotta go after it. You gotta attack it. Not in a way that is gonna damage your pen, but you wanna make sure that you are just really acting with intention. So you gotta press it firmly and press it quickly. Especially when you press in. Pressing out doesn't matter as much, but pressing in, you gotta just bam, bam, two, bam, bam. That's three, and I pretty much have a full filling. Let's go one more for good measure. Bam, four. So that is how you fill your Pilot Custom 74. You gotta really go after it, you gotta attack that thing, and you gotta make sure that you are pushing that button with some real intention. If you have any other questions about the Con 70, the Custom 74, or any other pilot stuff, or any fountain pen stuff at all, uh, leave me a comment on YouTube or on Ink Nouveau. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I always like hanging out with you. And be sure to write on.